Hi everyone, welcome back, Marie Diva for a lifetime. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well and staying healthy. I know it's been a minute, I've been a little MIA, but I definitely needed to have this time to myself to kind of regroup and kind of really refocus on what I want to do and kind of hopefully, God willing, with good positive vibes, end the year in a good note. Um, I definitely been maintaining, right? I have not gained. I maybe lost a couple pounds here and there, but nothing crazy. So I've just been maintaining, um, definitely playing around with calories, macros, smart points, points plus, um, and kind of just figuring out where I'm at, right? So the last thing that I needed to do was go get a physical. I got a physical done. Everything came back good, thank God. And my doctor was like, I just need you to lose this last 30 pounds. She was like, I really want to just see you under 200. And I'm like, girl, me and you both, like, hello. So I'm definitely doing something right, but nothing to the fact of actually being on a calorie deficit to get me out of the 200s, right? So I have played with smart points. I do lose with smart points, but I get so frustrated that within like a week, week and a half, I end up binging. And then macros is a lot of work. And calories and macros, uh, I can, you know, it's, it's it works. It's just a lot of work. And I'm saying to myself, point plus was my plan. It was the plan that I lost 127 pounds in. Is a plan that I've never gained that way back. Um, I've just been struggling with the last 30, but never gained the 100 and something pounds back, which lets me to believe that it was complete fat loss. And that's awesome, right? Because I've learned a lot, you know, since 2017. Wow, 2017, that's a long time. So I said to myself, okay, Mari, you know what? Let's go. I need to commit to a plan. I need to commit. I need to commit and be like, let's do this. I don't want to commit myself for three months, four months. No, I want to commit myself for life, right? And you must be like, oh my God, that's a lot. It is. You know why? Because I'm tired of the yo-yo. I'm tired of losing five ten pounds and then fall off the wagon try something different like i want to be consistent like that's the key word i need to be consistent to be able to get rid of these last 32 pounds and get to my goal of being under 200 pounds right and i tell you it's not fitness because i work out six days a week i'm in it you know i love lifting i do my cardio i do my own workouts because god knows i definitely have gotten to a point that i dislike following videos i go on my own beat and i find that a lot of these videos they waste a lot of time and my time is so precious right so before i go on i definitely want to share today's um advice right from weight watcher success every day for my meditation book and it's kind of like definitely where i'm at and i'm like you know what let me share this with the divas because it is that important when it comes down to time management and what we're doing so let's get right into this really quickly it says um september 13th it says i must govern the clock not be governed by it it says a recent poll of magazine female readers showed that 68 percent wish they had more time to spend on themselves but they feel guilty taking time out of their already busy schedules to attend their own needs hello been there done that but taking time for yourself whether you're female or male isn't various it's a necessary investment in yourself a study of 3,400 u.s workers found that setting aside time for personal pleasures resulted in a high, high, heightened sense of mental and physical well-being. Here are some expert tips on how to carve out more time for yourself, time that can be spent working towards achieving your weight and fitness goals. It says here are some expert tips on, on goals. It says use an egg timer and put a limit on phone calls, vacuuming, and other time-consuming chores. Instead of saving instead of uh, 
Here are some expert tips on how to carve out more time for yourself. Time that we can spend working towards achieving your weight and fitness goals. One, it says use an egg timer to put a limit on phone calls, vacuuming and other time consuming chores. Instead of saying maybe to a request, say yes or no so that you don't waste time reconsidering it. Make extra meals on weekends and freeze them for use in later in the week. Invest in extra food storage space so you can save time by saving larger quantities and shopping less often. Set up a food station in the kitchen so, so children can help make their own meals. Carry a large basket around the house for picking up anything that's out of place. Two round trips should do it. Ask for help. Don't do everything yourself. That last one, ask for help, boy, has things have changed. You know, I'm a very old school and they say, you know, the, the mother does everything and blah, guess what? I have learned to ask for help because you know what? Why not? It's been a game changer. At the end, it says, once you created extra time for yourself, use it wisely. Spending your newly found 30 to 60 minutes watching television may not improve your life, but exercising, meditating, or going to a group support meeting will. Tip of the day. Employ at least one time saving device today and ask for help. Yes, yes, yes. Because I tell you, time management is huge, right? Because I find myself, the kids are back to school now. I help my daughter with my granddaughter in the morning so she can get to work. And it's like, where, what about me? What do I do? So definitely preparing the night before, taking out my fitness clothes that I'm gonna use to work out, my actual clothes that I'm going to use for work the next day leaving coffee already prepared so it can brew on its own, making lunches the day before, making babas the day before. It's just all about how important is this journey to you or to me in this instant, right? So it's super important. So Mari is up, quarter to six, six o'clock. I get my workout in and I move forward. You know, this whole pandemic had us like all, you know, like discombobulated is the only word that comes to mind. And I'm starting to finally get myself back on track, making days for my pedicures. Because ladies, 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 even though fall is around the corner, we should do our toes all year round. Our, our toes should look cute all seasons, you know. Um, and just for me, you know, I love when I look down and my toes are done and they match my nails. Like that to me gives me, you know, like joy. I love, you know, to like put myself together, you know, dyeing my hair, getting rid of those grays, you know, because they come in. And it's just like taking time, you know, really taking care of your face, your skin, um, just meditating, you know, stretching. It is so important. Aside of like exercising, right? Because I exercise from 30 to 40 minutes, about six days a week, but these are extra stuff that's done at a later time. When you come home from work or earlier in the day, you know, it depends on your schedule, but it's so important, right? So I'm trying to find that balance. So I said to myself, okay, so I'm ready. I'm gonna do points plus. I am going to use Pro Tracker. One thing about this app is that it tracks everything for you. So it tracks points plus or smart points. But the biggest thing is that it gives you your macros. What? Yes. And that to me is just like so balanced because you have to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose weight. And a lot of these zero point foods, they add up very, very, very quickly. The fact that Points Plus does the counting for me, but I can still keep an eye on my calorie intake and of course my carbs because God knows, you know, I try not to go over like 150 is like my max. So it's nice to keep an eye on that and you get it all in the same app and it is so inexpensive. The only downfall is that it's only on iOS, on iPhones. That's it, which kind of sucks. But it's a great app.
and it's so inexpensive and this is not sponsored you guys know that but it's definitely worth you know checking out if you're like indecisive about what you want to do it gives me everything that i need all in one shot um and at one point i was like should i put it to lose two pounds a week and i'm like you know what Marty? no one pound a week we we're not stressing nothing we're doing things right we're going to lose it nice and easy but you know pushing forward another thing is that I fast I still fast I don't fast as vigorously as I used to fast but I still fast you know I still get my 16 hours in I eat in an eight hour window so I eat between 10 and 6 I have tummy issues I don't have my gallbladder I have it's a lot so in order to take care of my stomach I give it more than enough time to digest whatever it is that I decide to eat because if not nighttime is rough and mama bear needs her sleep right as we get older i've noticed i need my sleep <laughs> forget that if i don't get at least six seven hours of solid sleep i am grumpy i have just changed so much and it's like who is she right but loving to learn to you know love who i am today you know not the girl that i used to be but who i am today and that's huge right so i am so glad to be back divas i won't ramble on anymore i will share with you guys like snack ideas 2021 for points plus because a lot has changed i haven't done points plus since 2017 that's a long time right so definitely snack ideas food ideas staying in it you know i'll share with you guys fitness and nails and everything because on this journey is about loving yourself a whole 360 you just can't pick and choose no you have to love yourself completely all the way around right so it's important to definitely journal you know i picked up my journal and i've decked it out i'll share you guys i'll share that with you guys on friday's video um i'm a diva on a budget for sure you know so definitely budget friendlies we'll do goodwill hauls i'll share with you guys you know a little bit of everything i do work in the office setting and pushing forward so with that said let me not ramble on anymore divas thank you for watching thank you for your love and support signed off you don't let me know how you're doing and once again we're back we're here keep me updated and we'll see you friday for our first weigh-in